Good morning, I'm Mike Buckingham and I'm a member of the York City Council. And I'd like to welcome everybody to the June edition of the Council Spotlight on York Show. Each month the uh, program uh, concentrates on uh, a York City business and this month we're very pleased to be featuring uh, Health the Carpet Man and Furniture Finesse, two longtime uh, city retailers. And joining me today are Susie Mummert from Furniture Finesse and Mike Helf from Health the Carpet Man. How you doing, Mike? Good. Um, Good morning. This is a bit of a homecoming for me because uh, about 35 to 40 years ago, that's hard to believe, I know. When I was first starting out in public accounting, the Carpet Man was one of my first clients and probably my favorite, to be honest. So um, I had the pleasure of working with Mike and Susie's wonderful parents, uh, Larry and Julia Health, and they were really special people. And also the two businesses are a bit unique in that they've always been located in the city of York, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. First over on Queen Street. Yep. And they've always been owned by the same family. So uh, we're very happy to be here today. Uh, Susie, why don't you, uh, we'll start with a little bit of your background. Uh, I joined the family business in 1980 when I graduated from West York. Um, followed all my brothers and sister along the way. Uh, there's eight of us total. I'm six in the line. Uh, came into the carpet family and uh, dad had apartments up above the store. So we, not only were we doing paperwork and whatever uh, family business needed to, to be done as we did wallpaper and painting and anything uh, in the apartments up above, which really gave us a rounded edge on everything in our industry today. Jack of all trades. Yep. Um, then we uh, grew a satellite store, w windows, walls, wicker, and whatever, in the back of the store, which has become furniture finesse over That's the right, years. I forgot about that, yeah. yeah. Uh, we specialize in window coverings. Today, specializing in window coverings and furniture is our main uh, focus. Hunter Douglas Window Fashions, which are all domestic. So you grew up in West York? Yes, in Shiloh, actually. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Uh, with six brothers and a sister, so we uh, it was quite a quite a ride with our childhood. Yeah. And how many of the families still uh, work in the business besides you two? Well, we Annie. Have, uh, well, we have the next generation, <laughs> which uh, well, it's going to count uh, two, four, approximately six, approximately six. Okay. Is Pat still uh, involved? No, he's no longer in this business. Okay. He and uh, Tom and Steve, they uh, they went off on their own. Okay. Doing sort of similar trades, yeah. So, Mike, you grew up, obviously, in West York also, Shiloh. Oh, yeah, I grew up the same place Suze did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Graduated Fortunately high for school. you. Dad gave me a week off and put me right to work, and that was uh, 46 years ago. And I'm only 45. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you hit 50, you start counting backwards. So that's that's why you're yeah, only 45. <laughs> but you know, uh, you, we watched the business go through multiple facets and changes over the years. And it, uh, if only our grandfather could see what we've accomplished here today, because he came down from Harrisburg in 1939. Uh, he had worked in Palmroy's up in Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. They went to work for Gilly's... Uh, furniture store, home furnishing store downtown in the floor covering department. And uh, this is basically what that operation would have looked like or been, except it was on multiple floors rather than one floor like we have now. That was, Scaly's was on West Market Street, wasn't it? Yeah, about 11 West, I believe it was. The Gailey yeah. building's still there. And then, uh, so it was your grandfather that started the business over on Queen Street, is that No, actually, so? Dad started the business. Oh, he did, okay. <clears throat> Dad started the business, and uh, Grandpa worked there, Uncle George worked there, Uncle Russell worked there, and all of my brothers and sisters. Yeah, cool. Um, well, what do we want to, we want to talk about uh, each business, I guess, a little separately, maybe, even though they're Co-located in the same. I yes. forgot to mention that the, the uh, address is 700 West Market. I wanted to make sure I got that in. <laughs> so uh, you so, want to? So wanna... uh, we started our satellite wicker sh wicker shop called Windows, Walls, Wicker, and whatever. 
um, that had separate uh, businesses renting some space in this building and uh, one space became available and we just on a whim opened a wicker and rattan store and called it windows, walls, wicker, and whatever. Window coverings, wallpaper. I think I was, I think I was still doing the accounting when you opened that uh, Yeah, we that sold shop. wallpaper, York wall coverings before they even had York wall coverings open as a retail outlet. Mm -hmm. It was that long ago. Um, but we've always specialized in window coverings. Uh, then the space became available up in the front of the store and we then closed windows, walls, wick or whatever and opened furniture finesse and branched out into uh, more furniture lines. Mm -hmm. uh, then dropped all of our window covering lines except for Hunter Douglas for good reason because Hunter Douglas is the best in the industry. Um, they brand themselves on child and pet uh, safety, um, energy efficiency, which is a key thing today, sure. and made yeah. in the United States. All their products are made in the United States. So you've been a Hunter Douglas uh, dealer for quite a while. Yeah, we have, and I'm the only Centurion gallery dealer in this county. So there's only uh, there's a gallery dealer in Lancaster, Harrisburg, Chambersburg are the closest gallery dealers which is a commitment. I committed to Hunter Douglas, and then I get advantages for uh, selling to my clients. So I have specials that they offer me, which mm -hmm. I pass on to my clients, which is uh, quite rewarding. And we're getting into a lot more um, home automation. So we have uh, the ability to ask Alexa to open our blinds and work mm -hmm. them on a schedule. Uh, that we just don't even have to operate them. They just go up at six o'clock in the morning and go down when we leave for work at eight o'clock. Wow. So on and so forth. Yeah. So that uh, a year ago, I was uh, probably uh, writing about one in a, one in a dozen uh, power mm -hmm. sales, but now it's getting to be about one out of four and five. Yeah. I was just on an appointment this morning and. Uh, did a whole sunroom with power windows. So that's a, just a smartphone app that... Uh, it is, yeah. Download an app and... Uh, Unfortunately, my phone's too old. I can't do that. But <laughs> Maybe when I upgrade phones, I'll get into yeah. that. <laughs> but our Hunter Douglas business is going strong and uh, it's fun. It's really exciting. Yeah. I have a lot on my radar for this town. That's great. I know we're going to take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a tour later, but do you want to talk about what some of your other vendors? Uh, uh, yeah. Wesley Hall is one of our leaders of our furniture brands, uh, Bridington Young, Fairfield Chair. All of these are domestic sources. We like to keep all of our business as local as possible. Hmm. So we, uh, we yield very little imports, uh, some lamps and accessories that are just not able to be found domestic. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you can still source furniture in uh, U.S. made Absolutely. furniture. Huh? Absolutely. You better quality. Yeah. Anything that comes on a container is usually ready for the landfill in huh. a short period of time. Interesting. Yeah. Is most of that stuff coming out of North Carolina? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Furniture capital of the world. Yeah. Good. And uh, your hours are what? We're here at 9 o'clock every morning till 6 o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and then 5 o'clock Tuesday and Thursday, and 3 o'clock on Saturday. Okay. And we have well-lit off-street parking on the side of the store. I was just going to say, I know there's parking in the back, and the carpet man's hours are the same, I guess, right? Exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about the carpet man, Mike. Well, at Health the Carpet Man, <clears throat> we represent some of the finest uh, domestic and imported manufacturers available. We have Karistan, we have Fabrica, Stanton, and a number of other uh, fine broadloom manufacturers. We also have uh, expanded our area road offering quite extensively, uh, having uh, domestic as well as imported area rugs. There's a huge amount of uh, hardwood and ceramic being used today, yeah. and those floors all need art for the floor. Yeah. As if it helps with acoustics, as well as a nice accent and personalizes the room a little better for you. Yeah, definitely. I know our first floor is all area rugs because it's the old oak hardwood floor. That, yeah, uh, everything goes in cycles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, prior to probably the mid-60s, everything had a, uh, every home, new home built had hardwood floors in because the uh, broad loom carpeting was more of a luxury. Uh -huh. It was less expensive uh, avenue to put hardwood in than, than carpet. Mm, that's interesting. Now, do you guys, do you still sell hardwoods? 
Oh yeah, we have uh, some okay. wonderful lines of hardwood. We have, uh, there's one line in particular called Castle Chrome from U.S. Floors that just gives you a gorgeous uh, character grade rustic mm -hmm. look. Um, we also have Provenza, which is an import, and as well as a, a new line coming in called Du Chateau. And they have extremely interesting looks, painted looks, reclaimed looks, uh -huh. which are uh, the, 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 the chic today. And obviously you would install all this stuff too. Yes, I we do. Yeah. We offer full installation on all of our flooring products. Huh. And that makes all of this go all hand in hand with the home design sure. that yeah. we have available. Um, I have a new designer, Ashley, who is fantastic in a customer's home or in the store, and we can put the whole room together. Yeah, it's a great fit, seems like. Yeah. Um, so you're pretty much, uh, I would say, uh, not necessarily upscale, but you're not you're not looking at just price point stuff. You're you're definitely. Uh... We keep an eye for price point because York County wants to see a, a moderate price point, uh, but quality is our main focus. Yeah. So if, if if it's price point, it still has to have some quality Absolutely. to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Which is a great philosophy. Yeah, we want little callbacks, so we deal with <laughs> the best that is out there. Yeah. Good. What do we say, Suze? Big town look, small town price. That's right. There we go. <laughs> so you were uh, started out on Queen Street, and I think you actually might be the old railroad station, which was way down on North Street behind by the ball, ball field. Park. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I didn't know that. Okay, that was before I started uh, in accounting. Oh yeah, we uh, Dad had just finished up a tour with a, a carpet manufacturer, and had all kind of connections at the mill. And was able to buy. Actually, we started in off goods and discontinued product, and that was a really wild time. We, uh, my brother Pat and I, were just kids, and we would, uh, I would personally, at night have some nightmares about the crowd that would show up to buy carpeting. <laughs> Pat and I would be carpet cutting carpet as fast as we could, walking over the piles because the aisles were so full of people. It was wild. Those are the kind of problems you want in retail. Yeah, oh yeah, it was great. It was a fun time. It was great business then, and as it is now. But uh, we grew and, and uh, expanded, and uh, then we went up to King Street, and we were there for a number of years, opened up a satellite in, Mer in uh, Hanover. Okay, uh, I think we're going to uh, take a quick tour of the store and... Um, oh take a look at what's available and um, talk about some of the vendors and some of the lines that uh, these folks carry. Along with the furniture and accessories that we carry, we like to focus on Hunter Douglas window fashions. We are now able to say, Alexa, turn on open showroom. And we have that function in our homes now. Whether it's your showroom, whether it's your bedroom, we can also override it with our remote and we can control it anywhere we want. Other than that, we do uh, cordless blinds, light rise, and top down, bottom up features with room and shades. We can go into our pirouette shades, which have the ability to gain a little bit of light, roll the whole way up, or come down and open for view through. All of these window treatments are domestic. We also have the soft rise motorization where we just gently touch. We have a breakaway tassel, so we have child and pet safety issues taken care of, and everything is warranted by Hunter Douglas. And here we have an American company, Bassett Furniture, who is supplying us a live edge table. Um, a lot of times you see this made by the Amish, but we have it here also from Bassett Furniture Industries, which is quite competitively priced. In this part of our showroom, 
We show hardwood floors as well as area rugs. And to show, give you an idea of the uh, character grade floor, uh, hardwood floors that we show, here's one from Provenza that gives you a reclaimed painted look. Extremely good looking product in an engineered floor. We also have in the character grade from Castlecombe, highly distressed reclaimed barn wood look with complete with pegs, knots, cracks. This is a gorgeous floor down. Absolutely gorgeous. We also have a domestic that's available seven inches wide, eight feet long, made here in Tennessee. We have oak as well as hickory available in hand scraped and a little bit of a character grade look. Not quite as much as the castle comb. Back here we have our area rugs. Just a small selection of our area rugs. These products are wool as well as synthetics. We have traditional Persian styles as well as um, more progressive looks in uh, Spanish tile patterns. A little different look, a lot of color. These are all eight by tens, which is a, a great dining room rug size. But as you can see, we've gotten into a lot more of uh, transitional looks somewhat primitive look. And again, we'll f find wools and synthetics. Wool is a fantastic fiber. It wears well, it ages well, and it just feels good. Here we have a nice selection of Karistan area rugs, 100% New Zealand wool, manufactured in Eden, North Carolina. They've got gorgeous, gorgeous styles. This rug in particular right here is the longest running area rug that Karistan makes. The infamous 717. 50 colors in that area rug. And it, it's an original. This area rug here in particular is a fine example of the detail of a fine Persian rug. However, it's is synthetic. It's uh, from a manufacturer by the name of Oriental Weavers. It's a brand new line and the detail is phenomenal. Fabrica is one of our domestic lines manufactured in California for the upscale look. It's just uh, all synthetics in this particular case, premium nylons, and being from the West Coast, the color lines are just uh, next to none. Gorgeous styling. There are wools available. For the most cases, wools are going to be uh, loop constructions, and they do wear extremely well. Stanton is, for the most part, a European line. Again, 100% wool, Wilton construction woven through the back, and these rugs we use a lot in wall-to-wall -wall as well as area rugs. We'll have the manufacturer make up area rugs in these products and uh, create a wonderful setting. There are also products from Stanton that have a little bit more of a um, 
Persian or Oriental feel. And then we have something for everybody. Make wonderful area rugs.